Well, good morning, good morning, guys. It is a beautiful sunny yes. day here in Pompeii, so we've decided to go on a day trip to we Sorrento. Going, yeah, to yeah. Sorrento. And our train has just arrived, so this is gonna be the shortest intro ever. We have to catch it. <laughs> All right, let's, let's get on. Considered the official start of the Amalfi Coast, the cliff perch town of Sorrento makes for a quick and easy day trip. We caught the train in Pompeii at Villa dei Misteri and took the Circumvesuviana line all the way down the coast. Our plan for the day? To eat and wander around without much of an itinerary. Okay, okay, well, we've arrived in we Sorrento. Sure we've arrived. It took less than 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. The ticket price, which we forgot to mention, was only 2 euros and 40 cents. Yeah. And we had a little bit of uh, entertainment. Yeah, the some performers music, came performance, on. Yeah, performance <laughs> and music. We gave them a euro tip. They did a really nice job. And uh, yeah, we're here. I think the first order of business is we're gonna go and find a cafe. Yes. Have some coffee and maybe have some cake. Oh something. my goodness. It's time for second breakfast. Yes, it is. Since we were visiting just before the holidays, the streets were decked out with all sorts of Christmas decorations. We befriended a few dogs along the way and then we found a spot to indulge in coffees and pastries. Alright guys, we found a place where to eat breakfast and I'm so excited. We noticed it from the outside because it kind of looked like a pastry shop because yeah. they have these massive displays mm -hmm. and then we were like peeking in like, oh this all it's looks really good. And we saw they had tables where you can sit down and enjoy your coffee and pastries so we were sold. So we ordered two cappuccinos with Nutella. I know. What they've done is they've coated the entire cup <laughs> in Nutella. It's all like melted. Next and level then stuff. they pour in the coffee and you know like the frothy milk. This is amazing. I've already had a sip and oh my goodness. Like I don't know if you can see on that side the chocolate. But yeah, one more sip. Mm. That's wonderful. Also, I got two pastries or two desserts because I thought they were gonna be really small. Um, because in Matera, we were going to a bakery and like the portions were, you know, like tiny, like something, like a little <laughs> special taste. But these are huge. So I got the um, Canolo Francese, um, which is this one. It's spelled with cream and it's got some nuts here as well. And then Sam was in the mood for lemon and he got Delizia al Limone di Sorrento, which is a lemon delight. It has like a little candied lemon on top, which is super cute. And we thought we need something savory too, so we got a panini with ham, cheese, and tomato, it seems. We're well equipped. We're set. We're set. We're set for breakfast. All right, Sam here is already at it. Yeah, He's digging right already in. digging into the panini. It's really nice. It's jacked. You can see it's got it's cheese, ham, big slices of tomatoes. Wow, it's really good. Yeah. Also got into the dessert already. You, you um, sure did. My gosh, that's delicious. You sure did. It is a local lemon specialty dessert. Yeah. Limoncello and anything lemon related is super popular here. Oh, look at that face. Wow. It's just, oh man, it's sugary and it's so lemony. Yeah. Yeah, it's, that's just like so, so lemony. It's so good. <laughs> I'm loving it. <laughs> what a good idea. We, were, we weren't originally planning to do this. We we're just going to have our, our main lunch. Yeah. But now that we're getting some really tasty food, we're going to have so much fun, more yeah, fun exploring we were, the city. Yeah, we were so peckish. We didn't feel like waiting till lunch. We had the tiniest breakfast. We just had yeah. fruit. I don't know what we were thinking. Anyways, this is nice. After walking through the town, we started making our way down to the waterfront, more specifically to Marina Grande. This harbor is lined with pastel-colored buildings, boats bobbing in the water, and lots of seafood restaurants. So the plan, we are now heading down towards the marina. Check out the views behind me. We have some really colorful buildings, lots of boats, the beach. Um, it's kind of foggy actually. You can still see some mist or fog over the water rolling into the town. Uh, but yeah, it's a beautiful day. We do have sunshine, so I really shouldn't be complaining about the cold because I mean, it is winter. 
what else should I be expecting? And look at this. We've got Sam working his magic. Butt pose. I'm waiting for those fishermen to do something. Okay, this I find super interesting. I'm gonna read this inscription. So you've gotta come a little closer. We're gonna do a little history lesson. So I'm gonna read it in Italian. Um, so it says, in ricordo dei tanti sorrentini, c'è da chi salparono per fare grande mar del plata e l'Argentina tutta. So from what I can understand, this is actually like in remembrance of all the people from Sorrento that ended up in Argentina in the town of Mar del Plata, which I've never visited, but my dad is from this area, so I find that super interesting. I had no idea that so many Italians from Sorrento had ended up in the city. Look at this. This is the Argentine, what do you call this? Not an emblem. Is it an emblem? It is the emblem. <laughs> emblem, there you go. <laughs> After walking the length of the marina and browsing through menus, we finally settled in a restaurant for lunch, Zintonio Mare. We are sitting at a restaurant by the seaside and we figured, let's have pizza because it's been a bit of a trend. Why stop now? We've only got a few more days left here in Italy, so we figured, let's make the most of it and today we're going to do seafood pizza yes. because we'll see. We're out by the sea. So, yeah. I can't wait. Italian seafood pizza, oh my gosh. It's going to be good. Oh my gosh. All right, guys, the pizzas are here. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. They, came, like... they came and it was just like jaw dropping. They look so <laughs> jaw droppingly good. beautiful. Jaw I almost have no beautiful. words. This is the one I got. Mine is frutti di mare with, um, I always forget the word for this, mussels, right? Yes. These are mussels. Um, but look at the presentation. I love that it's still in the shell. It just adds beautiful colors like these purples yeah. and like, oh my gosh. And I got so. I got the one with sardines. So. Yeah, so Sam's was called Pizza Romana. Yeah. I think they're anchovies actually. Oh, sorry, anchovies. anchovies. Yeah. Anchovies. So yeah, this oh, is man. gonna be so good. All right, so we're gonna dig right in, kind of move these yeah. shells. How do, you, how do you even eat this? I don't even know. <laughs> I feel like you have to do a bit of a hand, hand work before you can even get yeah. it. Yeah, gotta really get dirty get into it so i'm gonna cut myself a bite-sized portion and then i guess we're gonna grab one of these little guys yeah just it scrape it out oh it's already loose that's perfect i'm oh, gonna wow. put my yeah, little shell perfect. that's what the plate is for i thought like, oh maybe he thought we were gonna share <laughs> no i think no. that's definitely for <laughs> yeah, the that's shells definitely for the shells mm -hmm. we should actually probably go through and just remove all the shells now yeah it's look beautiful but it's not Ideal for biting. <laughs> Alright, moment of truth. Mm -hmm. Hit the spot. It's good. It's good. That's the truth. That's the truth. That's the truth. Moment of truth. That's, that's really, really good. That's the bottom line. Mm -hmm. There we go. Look at that. With those salted anchovies. Oh, oh look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful, he says. Beautiful. Let me eat you. You're Tons beautiful. Tons of tomato sauce, big, thick mozzarella cheese. All right, oh, in yeah. you go, in you go. Mm. <laughs> mm. 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 If you thought that 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 pizza was salty, it's like take that's like ten xing it with these. Ooh. It's so salty and good. I think I'm gonna like that. I like them both. This one's my favorite. Really, the anchovies? Oh yeah. Oh wow. Oh yeah. For dessert, I got myself a little limoncello because mm -hmm. that is what you get when you come here. This is what they when specialize in. When in Sorrento. In. When in Sorrento. A bit and of lemon liqueur. Yeah. Oh, it smells wonderful. <laughs> mm. Oh. That's almost like neon oh. yellow. That is so sweet, and then it's a little bit sour and burns as it goes down. Yeah, it's just a. Uh, it makes for a great dessert drink, and I, like th there was other desserts like mixed fruit and cake. And I was like, there's no way I have room for that. <laughs> Just so, give me the alcohol. So, yes, it's perfect. This will help maybe burn through the cheese a little bit, so <laughs> I could use it. Mm -hmm. But um, in terms of price point, that was 23 euros, mm -hmm. and that included this, the two pizzas, the big fizzy water, mm -hmm. and also the coperto, which was only one euro per person. So mm -hmm. that's one of the cheap, uh, better price copertos we've oh, seen. Yeah. Can be as much as two. Or three, or three, or three. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So we thought that was very reasonable. 
man we're full great quality pizza so much seafood so yeah we highly recommend this place and if you come here definitely check out the pizzas for sure Making our way back to town, we also attempted to visit Sorrento Cathedral, but we arrived outside of opening hours, so here's a quick look from the exterior. So it looks like we missed the opening hours for the cathedral. It's only open from 8 to 12.30, and then 4.30 to 9. Yikes. From there, we continued down some of Sorrento's pedestrian-friendly side streets, which were lined with small shops and outdoor produce stalls. Limoncello seemed to be by far the most popular souvenir, so if you're looking for a taste of the famed lemon liqueur, this is a good place to stock up. There are definitely no shortage of places to shop here in the city. Like, there's a lot of Christmas stuff right now at the mm -hmm. moment, because Christmas is just around the corner, about three weeks away. Yeah. And there's tons of limoncello. Like, Ooh, there are yes. stores dedicated just to it. Ooh, so, yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Our last stop of the day were the Cloisters of St. Francis, where there was a small art exhibition taking place. These cloisters are also located in a small park with great views of the coastline and the Mediterranean Sea. So we enjoyed the views one last time and then it was time to head back. Well, I would say we are just about ready to call it a day. Yeah, and what a what a cool day it was. I mean, mm -hmm. I feel like we got to do a lot here, especially for the winter. There isn't quite as many things to do as yeah. in the summer. We did a lot of food related stuff. A we lot ate of a lot. yes, we ate a lot. We wandered around a lot. It's a very charming city, very walkable. Also, this is where you can catch a, a ferry to the Capri as well. Yeah. And had we had more time, we would have done that. Or Probably had it be been warmer, yeah, I think had it been being warmer. out on the water today. I, no yeah, way. I wouldn't want to be out on the water <laughs> today, that's for sure. It was very windy and chilly, especially when we weren't in the sun. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it made for a really cool day trip. And this is the kind of place where you can kind of cover in a day. What are we doing? We're shopping, but only because I'm freezing cold. Audrey we loves to have, shop. We only have a few more days left here, but it is like frackety frackety. Audrey saw clothes. She liked this. She's like, I want to shop. Let's spend money. It's so warm. Like, let's spend feel money. This. Feel this. You gotta feel this. Oh yeah, let's feel it. Okay, it is pretty warm. All right, let's get you a warm sweater. Call it a day. She's trying things on. It would keep me warm. Would it keep you warm? It would. What other criteria are you looking for? I don't know, I don't look like a clown. <laughs> so ridiculous. What do you think? I do like it. I really do like it. It's it's cute. I like the buns. I think it has like a I think it has a classy design. But then again you're asking me and I'm not exactly a fashion guru, so Alright guys, well we went shopping, not because I enjoy shopping, but because it is freezing outside. And in case you haven't noticed I've been wearing the same clothes every <laughs> single day because I only have two warm sweaters. Yeah. Even my family has commented, Andre, in your videos, you seem to be wearing the same outfit. Well, Do you not have anything else? You've now upgraded. So, we we kind of showed you what we, we were getting in the change room. Yeah, so I got a turtleneck in yes. black and white and, uh, and a nice like gr a green jacket. jacket. Yes. And the jacket is like a jacket I used to own in Korea way back. And when we left Korea, we were going backpacking in Southeast Asia. So Sam took my jacket and threw it away. No, I didn't. That's a total lie. No, you, left you, you, you had planned to discard it anyyways. You had no room. Because you, know, you remember the first time we went backpacking? I was planning to you you packed like six pairs of shoes. You thought you, were, you thought you were going to be doing like an Instagram shoot every day or something. I wasn't even on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> it was a joke. <laughs> Anyways, I have warm clothes for the next few days in Italy and these will serve me well the rest of winter. Mm -hmm. 